Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How is everything, guys? Everything is well. Excellent. Nice. It's good to see you. Good, good to have you on time, guys. As I mentioned, I have a previous class, but I, I try to connect on time. But sometimes Zoom takes a little while to, to connect, to open the application. So I know I, I, I did it on time, but uh, well, it's not because now I, I actually finished the class on time and I started the class supposedly on time, but you know, things happen and sometimes the internet is a little slow. By the way, I got 25 gigs. I used to have only 15 gigs and remember that my 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 Wi-Fi wasn't working. So yesterday in the afternoon after a week, a technician from Tigo came to fix it. So I have a big modem like this. Let, let me show it to you. Super big. What is that? It's a modem. It's a new modem. That's right. Yeah, but supposedly I have a better a better internet. So instead of having 15 gigs, now I have 25 gigs. But of course, I didn't have internet and I have to be, I have to teach in another place, in another house because my internet was not working. And yeah, it was a headache. It was a headache. But I hope that the internet is not that bad. The, the connection is not that bad today. So, welcome, guys. We will continue with yesterday's class. We were doing the conversation about wedding, but we were supposed to read the previous. Mire, pues, menos mal que tengo buen internet. Ya me veo congelada ahí. Yeah. Aunque 100 gigas tenga, igual el internet es malo de tigo. No sé. I don't know which is worse. If it's Tigo or if it's Claro. So, we were supposed to do the um, intermediate two. Okay, yeah, I'm in the correct one. We were supposed to do a reading. Okay, we were going to read because that was something that was pending on last week. As you said, because of the time. Because I speak too much. Okay, conversation and neighbor, neighbor. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We didn't see this part, right? That's something extra. It's not. It was not in the in the platform, right? Nope. Mm -hmm. But as you see, there are um, some more activities here, guys. In the lesson, um, how do you call it? Eh, manual del participante. Aquí. Okay, ahí lo pueden encontrar. Yes. Para que practiquen un poco más, ¿verdad? No solo eh, lo que vemos en la clase, sino que si se fijan, si hay un, pa un par de actividades o lecturas, o algunos ejercicios más aparte, all right, additional. Now, let's see, what's this for? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we started the, we started the, um, the infinitives, right? Yeah, two, when we're talking about the intention, the purpose to do something. So don't forget to turn it on. Don't forget to press the button. We saw this this uh, topic already, right? Talking about infinitives, yes? Eso era los infinitives, si se acuerdan? Porque creo que ya vamos a ver algo de los gerundios también. Ok. Sí. 
Satellites are used. Yeah, esto sí ya lo vimos. So, next. ¿Cuáles eran las, las formas de decir como un imperativo que se escuchara más así como en lugar de decir, hey, don't, don't do this, don't do that. Aquí teníamos expresiones. Hey, don't forget to, no se te olvide, ¿verdad? Traerme mi dinero. Hey, give me the money. Dame el pisto. Lo que me debes. Give me what you owe me. No. Podría decir, don't forget to give me the money. Yep. Don't forget to bring the money. Remember to bring the money. Make sure to bring the money. Sí, todas esas expresiones son como para hacerlo más más eh, delicado, más sutil, más educado, right? Look at this picture. Which of the one referred to a microwave, a hair dryer, a laptop computer, or more than one answer is possible? Mm -hmm. Hagamos esta. Hi, I can turn on the camera, says Rebecca. It's okay. No problem, Rebecca, I know. You normally turn it on, but sometimes you can't because I know you're busy. Now, so unplug it after you use it. What, is, what could it be the answer? Desconectar antes, después de que lo ocupes. Huh? ¿De cuál podríamos hablar? The microwave, the hair dryer, or laptop computer. Laptop computer. The hair dryer. Maybe a hair dryer because, yeah, the microwave is always like in use, right? You use it more often during the day. So the hair dryer is basically just when you just use for it a for a moment, time. for a short time. Yeah. So it could be a micro, uh, I mean, a hair dryer. Save your work often. Las computadoras de antes, ¿verdad? The computers, the laptop computer, ¿verdad? Si no, save your work. No se, acu no se acuerdan que si se le iba la luz, se le borraba todo lo que estaba haciendo, right? Yeah. Siempre, siempre yeah. guys, it's, it's very, it's, it's good that you are, if you're working on something important, try to save the changes. De, de, ¿Qué es? Nada les, 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 les cuesta darle guardar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, veamos aquí. ¿Qué hay aquí? Nada. Aquí está el guardar, ¿verdad? Solo le da ahí y ya está guardadito. Pero de repente hay cosas que se, pues, se nos va la luz y hay unas cositas que se nos... Que no se nos graba. So save the save the work, save your work often. Recharge the battery, the batteries often. Uh-huh. That is a a laptop computer, right? Batteries. Qué raro. Bueno, no sé si antes tenían las, la hair, no sé qué, qué tiene, qué, qué otra cosa tiene batería, but yeah, battery, sería battery, solo una, ¿verdad? Una, porque no son baterías de las otras. Keep away, for, for, keep it away from, from water. Everything. But everything, of course. And don't spill drinks on it. especially for yeah. laptop. Miren laptop. Cómo, es que, cómo se dice como la recomendación, sugerencia o como un command, ¿verdad? O algo imperative. Miren, don't, 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 ¿ok? Don't. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, Francisco, ¿se acuerda el primer ejemplo que, no, que usted utilizó sin un, que lo hizo como un imperative? ¿Cómo se lo haría in negative, how do you form that expression in negative? El breakdown, ¿se acuerdan de los, de yeah. los phrase adverbs, verdad? Mm -hmm. The negative is the don't break down uh -huh. TV. Don't TV. break down the TV. Or don't break the TV down. Cualquiera de las dos formas, right? Good. 
So right. don't expose you, don't don't expose it to stream heat or cold. Computer, right? Computer, laptop. Don't heat close closed containers in it. Microwave. A microwave, exactly. Don't put metal in it. Microwave too. A microwave. microwave. It's super dangerous, guys. So then, then we're going to do the reading, okay? Oh, ¿a dónde estaba, chicos, ese? No era Neighbors. ¿Cuál era? ¿Cuál era el reading? Este. Yeah. Este, ¿verdad? A day in your life? Yes. Um, I don't really remember. Let me just... Vamos a buscar cuál fue, es que yo me acuerdo que era otro, otro arco. Finishing section section two. Yeah, you should understand it was the number three. Reading exercise. A day in your life. Ah, uh, pues sí, este era. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's what we're going to read. That was something that was pending, y obviamente solo le di las respuestas porque aquí sí teníamos que contestarlo. Pero ahora sí lo vamos a leer. Okay. Isaura and um, I don't know if Rebecca will practice. Me levante la mano si quiere, si quiere participar, Rebecca y Renato. Because I don't see, I don't see if you're there. Okay. So, Francisco, you're going to start. Lo hago así. Después, muy bien, Francisco. Igual ya levanto la mano. Lo hago así porque es, es como llevo el orden. Para que no se me olvide a quien no le pregunte. Okay. So, please read the first paragraph, including the... Uh, the topic or the head, um, the head, um, aquí como el encabezado. Okay, a day, uh, a day in your life in the years 2020. All right. Uh, scan article, 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 then add the correct hand heading to each paragraph. Paragraph. Mm -hmm. Paragraph. Communi communicating, communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, 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 eating getting around, working. Getting around. Getting, getting around. around. Okay. Getting. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Cuál sería entonces el heading? O sea, como el título, ¿verdad? De eh, cada uno de los paragraphs. Ahí tenemos, if we're talking about communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, uh, getting around. Getting around is como andar paseando, right? Or working. Can you continue, please, with the first paragraph, Francisco? Okay. People use it. Okay, Nubia, your second. Sorry. Go. Okay. People use it to know more or less how their children will live. Now, teens are changing so quickly that we don't even know what no know what our what our our life will be like in a few years thank you what, what, uh, oh sorry continue sorry what follows, what follows how experts see the future future okay le vamos a corregir alguna pronunciation here okay okay so here first used Used, solía, used, okay? Used. Yes. Okay, used. Um, people used to know more or less, more than, more, uh, more or less, now their children, but, but it's how, perdón, que me, me cubría la, 
la pantalla oh. de ustedes. Okay, so people used to know more or less how their children would live. Aquí es vivirían. ¿Cómo vivirían los niños? ¿Cómo, uh -huh, cómo, vivie, o cómo vivieran los niños? Entonces el verbo aquí es live. Yo sé que está la otra palabra de live como un evento en vivo, ¿ok? O como cuando hacemos live que estamos en vivo haciendo transmisiones directamente, ¿ok? No. En el momento. Entonces en, el, en este caso es live, ¿ok? No live, yo sé, las dos, las dos formas eh, se escriben igual, pero eh, por el contexto es el verbo live en este caso, ¿ok? okay. So the things are changing so quickly so we don't even know. No, si lleva la K es no, si no lleva la K es now, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Se acuerdan? Now. ¿Solo now? ¿Solo así? Sí, pero como lleva la, o, la, e, la K es no, de conocer. Uh -huh. Y aquí sí, di, aquí sí digo lives, mire. No, what our lives will be, cómo nuestras vidas serán en unos pocos años. Y acá, future, future. Everybody, guys, future. 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 All right. Future. Todo el tiempo cuando vean esta palabra como pre premature, mature, um, uh, mature, nature, todos los que terminan en chure, ture, se pronuncian así, como chur. Um, se los escribo, más o menos va así. Eh, esta es una, una E rara, pero es como una E-O. Algo así. Sure. Future. Sure. Y este es el famoso schwa. Miren, se lo voy a poner acá. El schwa es este... Eh, es esta pronunciación o este símbolo que ven aquí. Future. ¿Ve? No sé si alcanzan a ver. Es una E, una E volteada. ¿Verdad? Ese es er, un sonido de E. Así que si ustedes quieren aprender cómo se pronuncia, busquen el schwa y creo que se dice así, miren. Ahí está, algo así creo que se escribe. Shua sound. Ese es el, un sonido neutral que es el que más se ocupa en, en inglés. Ok, ese es el famoso shua, así se escribe. Ok, se los pongo aquí en el chat para que ustedes se familiaricen más con los, eh, con los sonidos en inglés y es el sonido más común que eh, que ustedes van a encontrar en inglés, ¿ok? De los sonidos incluso más difíciles de pronunciar porque no es está como un una e o una o. Uh, uh, future, future, future. Un poco raro, verdad, pero igual eh, ese es el sonido, ¿ok? That's the sound. Escuchemos acá. All right. Sure. Future. Sure. ¿Sí pudieron escucharlo o no? No. No, yes. ¿verdad? No, no. Ahorita sí. Vaya, ahorita. Right now. Future. 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 Ok. Future. Sure. 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 Ok. Y ahí nos quedamos. Thank you, Francisco. That's the... You're welcome. Ok. The next, eh, Christ Nubia Cristina, you raise your hand. Usted es la segunda. If you want to read, guys, please let me know. Okay, raise your hand con la manita así levantada, si es posible. Grandy, Evelyn, no sé qué pasó con sus cámaras. What happens? What happens? What happens? I feel really bad. Can I have my camera off? All right. I know hey. you're, you're 16, 16 yesterday. And Evelyn. Sí, igual, teacher. Este, ya habíamos hablado de eso. Um, oh, no. sorry, Evelyn, from Hilo Vasco, right? <laughs> Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado. Oh, my sí. God. 
¿Quién es la de hilo bajo? No está hoy. Ok, Nubia, continue with the second paragraph, ok? Ok. Your day, your day dreaming behind the wheel. Your, your oh. day dreaming behind. Behind the wheel. The of wheel. The, the, the wheel of the car, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Behind the car. You have it on. You have it on. You have it on. Automatic pilot. Automatic pilot. Pilot. And with it, uh, it's high edge computer. Your car knows how to get you home safely. Más rápido, Nubia. Your car knows how to get your home safely. You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car. Wheel. ¿Qué significa wheel en este caso? Las llantas. Ruedas. Rodar. Wheel is car. Llanta. No, las tires son las, son las llantas. Will it some um... let me see? Is it... uh -huh. How do you call it? Timon, right? Let's see. Will La Rueda el Volante. Okay, el volante. Okay, in este caso si es el volante. Often circular part of which the vehicle moves on the bus when around around the redas del autobús. Sí, es más, pero más que todo es volante, timón, ¿ok? En este caso está, no puede ir atrás de las llantas, ¿ok? No, you cannot be behind the, the, the wheels. En este caso mejor digo tires, las la llantas, pero aquí decimos el timón o el volante, ¿ok? So, so you're daydreaming. Behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have an automatic pilot, and with and with its high tech computers, your car knows how to get you home, how to get you home safely. Okay, ya vamos a ver, chicos, el stress de cómo es que tenemos que, que estar leyendo, verdad? En este caso, más rápido, Nubia. I need more, more fluency. Ahí un poquito más fluidez. Come on. Who's next, guys? Me, teacher. Go. Uh, you. 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 You head for a kitchen when you get. Get home. You ordered me groceries by you computer. Ordered, ordered. Under cross. Ordered. Order. Order. Ordinar. Ordered. Order groceries by computers and in her I go. And an hour ago. And now. An hour ago. An hour ago. An hour ago. An hour. Hour ago. Guys, ¿cómo se dice ahora? Hour. Hour. Ok. No hour. se dice hour. Le, le, le dije tres veces, por favor, Evelyn, escuchemos, ok. Hour. Hour. Ago. Hour ago. And try be deliberate. They've, they've, they have they, es lo que significa ahí. They've delivered, they've been delivered. 
driver delivered you paying for them before they arrived the money was a uh, automate automatic I no puedo pronunciar esa palabra automatically 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 the did you take the for you back I come no nobody use cash anymore nobody uses cash anymore se lo voy a leer una vez más chicos me, alguien más me ayuda a leer por favor estoy escuchando que los verbos en pasado thank you Evelyn no me los están pronunciando ok o me los están pronunciando eh, incorrectamente todos los verbos regulares terminan con ed pero no en todos los casos se pronuncia esta ed ok eh, ordered no ordered uh, delivered d. arrived d. D. arrive arrived d. todos vamos ordered ordered Order, order, como do al final, ok. The other, they've, they've, eso es, they have been, ellos han sido entregados. O sea, ¿de qué estoy hablando? De la comida, ¿verdad? De lo que usted pidió, ok. De los alimentos. Dave, 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 delivered, 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 arrived, 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 money, no. Todas, si se fijan, una EY, cuando se termina money. esta EY, todas las money. palabras, money. muy bien, la pronunciamos como una I, ¿ok? Money. O sea que la E no la pronuncio, simplemente digo money, honey, money, okay? honey, okay? Money. Okay? Uh -huh. money, 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 the money, money. Okay? Siempre la EY no se pronuncia como EY, sino que solo como una I, ¿ok? Money, money. honey, money. como miel, honey, honey. Uh -huh. Um, Man. deducted, deducted, a grandes rasgos, ajá, a, ra a grandes rasgos, les voy a comentar cuando se pronuncia la E de únicamente, ok, vamos a tener más tiempo para explicar esto, Lo, normalmente esa E de se pronuncia como una D o como una T, ¿Ok? Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando ya los verbos terminan con un sonido de D o de T? En este caso, sí, pronuncio la sílaba adicional. Como ustedes me dicen aquí, ordered, no. Ordered. No termina con T, no termina con D el sonido, ¿verdad? Sino que termina con uno, una R. Ordered. Arrive. Termina con V, no termina con T, no termina con D. ¿Sí? Entonces, por lo tanto, arrived, d, d, ¿ok? Eh, delivered, termina con un sonido de R, delivered, d, pronuncio la D en este caso. Si ya terminan los verbos con estos sonidos, por ejemplo, deduct, el verbo es deduct, ¿con qué, con qué palabra o qué sonido termina? Con la T. Con la T, solo en este sí. caso... Entonces, sí voy a pronunciar la ED, ¿sí? Ahí digo deducted, ¿sí? Tengo el otro, decide. Obviamente, la E nunca la pronuncio, ¿se recuerdan, verdad? ¿Qué sonido termina entonces en decide? D. Una D. Entonces, D, ahí D, también D, le pronuncio la D. También, decided, ¿ok? Want, want. ¿Con qué, con qué, toni, con qué termina? With Con T, entonces te pronuncio la T, E, D también, wanted o wanted. Ok, tenemos el add, agregar. ¿Con qué sonido termina? Add. Sí. Con D también. Entonces, solo en estos casos que el sonido sea con T o D, los agrego. Ok, de lo contrario, eh, 
les vamos a tener una clase, ¿verdad? O un ratito más eh, este viernes, porque yo sé que vamos a tener bastante tiempo para pronunciar un poquito más o saber cuándo es que pronunciamos ya sea la T o la D. Eh, pero nunca, ¿verdad? Nunca, nunca, nunca pronunciamos la E D si no terminan con estos sonidos de T o D. ¿Estamos? ¿Ok? Sí. Vaya, pues, ya. Los demás siempre hagan arrived. Hagan como un sonido de D. Ya les voy a explicar cuándo pronunciamos como T y cuándo pro pronunciamos una pequeña D. D al final. Ok. Eh, nobody uses. Uses. Evelyn, ¿qué es lo que me dijo que tiene su computadora? Perdón. Eh, no funciona la cámara, se ve bien oscuro. Ok. Vaya. Entonces, then... Continue with the, who wants to read the third, the, sec, the third paragraph? Sí, este, este párrafo sí necesito que lo leamos nuevamente, guys. Please, help me. Nobody wants to read anymore. David. The third one, right? Yeah, the same example, the same paragraph, okay? Again. Okay. You head for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer an hour ago. And they've been delivered. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically conducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Good job. Nice pronunciation. All right. Super, super, super. The next and the next, the fourth paragraph, guys. Me teach. Hey, go, Natalie. What's for a lunch? In the old days, you used to start off to get hamburger or pizza. Now use your diagnostic machine to find diagnostic. out diagnostic machine to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. All right. Used to stop. Used to stop off. Used to stop off. Okay. Aquí nada más el sonido de la Eh, no, ¿verdad? Simplemente used to stop, to stop, used to stop. Good job, Natalie. Nice pronunciation. Uh, diagnostic, diagnostic, okay? The next, the number, uh, the other paragraph, please, guys, help me. I have a minute. Uh, go, go, go. I want to Do the, yeah, thank you. Just read this one then, please. After, after lunch. lunch. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office where you have everything you need to do to do your work you never have to communicate to work anymore okay here you have aquí tienes here you have everything here 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 you have mm -hmm. everything commute 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 mm -hmm. do you know the meaning of commute guys no. <laughs> it's to transport. When you, that you have to move to your work and return to your house, that means commute. That you go and go back. Go and go back. Okay? Go, come back to, to your home, and then you go back again to your work and come back to your home. So that's commute, to, to move. Okay? The next is the other paragraph. Solo tengo dos personas más, guys. So tell me. 
Who wants to read me. the other one? Who said me? Me, teacher. Glendy, sure. Your information screen say that you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Okay, good job. Your information screen. Your information screen. Repeat it. Your information screen. Very good. No, like your information screen, no. Your information screen. Aquí hacemos un link entre ambas palabras. Thank you. And finally, who wants to read the, the, the last paragraph? El último. One, two, three. Nobody? Can I? Can sure, it's Aura. Go. You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future? Okay. Maybe back to the future? Okay. Quizás volver al futuro. Back to the future. Muy bien con la pronunciation del future. Turn on. You turn on the computer. Turn on. Hacemos también un link acá. Turn on. Turn on the television through. Repeat everybody. Through. True. Ok, no true. true. Ok, tenemos un par de palabras. We have some similar words. That, for example, is true. Si dice true, es otra palabra, ¿verdad? Sino que es through, que es true. esta. Uh -huh. Through. Oops, true. sorry. True. ¿Cómo se pone sin, erba sin embargo? Lo mismo sin la R, all right? Do. Ahí se dice do, sin embargo, ¿ok? Do. Do. Y tenemos el otro que es así. Thought. Miren. Ay, Dios mío, ¿por qué me equivoco tanto? Aquí. Thought. Pensar. Pensamiento. Thought. ¿Ok? Through, do, thought. Through, do, thought. Y hay un poco, algunas más, pero no digamos true, ¿verdad? Sino que through. Everybody again? True. 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 Hay que sacar la lengua y ponerla con true. los labios. True, all right? True. 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 Con los dientes, true. perdón. True, 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 true. true. Very good. Y true. si no, true. digo true, ¿verdad? Es, es otra true. palabra, nada que ver. Pero si se fijan, estas palabras son through, do, Thought. Completamente diferentes, pero parecidos. Through the thought. ¿Ok? Any vocabulary, guys? ¿Algún vocabulario nuevo que no sepan de aquí? Yes, teacher. Automáticamente. What do you say? Oh, uh, automatically. Automatically. La AU, la AU se pronuncia como una O. Automatically. 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 Okay. Another. The meaning or the pronunciation, guys? No? Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Um, isn't the. Um, in a paragraph that I read. Okay. Uh, I can't see the screen. Really? Okay. Now, yes. Uh, okay. At the beginning, it says you have, you have the kitchen. What is ah, the meaning? Is to go directly to that uh, to that direction. To move to into that direction. Head up, head forward. Te diriges a, yeah, go to a place, like, yeah, okay. follow a direction. Uh -huh. Ya you. sé, head es la cabeza, ¿verdad? Y miren aquí el headings que decía, headings también es el encabezado, ¿verdad? O el título, ¿ok? Aquí lo tienen, si se fijan. 
es que el inglés se confunde a veces uno porque las palabras parecieran, ¿verdad? Otras cosas, pero dependiendo del contexto, se, se, eh, es algo distinto. It's something different. Aquí está. The correct heading to, the, to each paragraph, okay? Any other question, guys? Any other paragraph or word you don't know the meaning? Vaya, entonces vamos a ponerles el heading a cada uno. So, what are we talking about with the first paragraph? Daydreaming. Y aquí tenemos los headings. Shopping, relaxing, eating, sharing, working, communicating. Uh -huh. What's the heading for number one? Tesla. Tesla's car. Shopping, we have communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, get around, or working. Getting around, right? Anda paseando por ahí, okay? Y sabe cómo llegar a su casa, dice aquí. Sí, hay carros así, ¿verdad? Los Teslas. Tesla. ¿Sí? ¿Verdad que sí? Ellos, ellos solitos se manejan, dicen. I don't know, pero así dicen. I don't know. Ok, so, yeah. It's about then... Getting around. Ok. And the second, help for the, chi help for the kitchen. Eating. 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 Ok. The next. What's for lunch shopping. in the old days? You used to stop off have to okay. get a hamburger. Now you use the diagnosis food for the pet you needs. No? It's, uh, the shop, uh, shopping. It would be shopping the second one, right? Because the uh, because the money was automatically. Exactly. The doctor, right? Uh, see, ahí sería el shopping, right? Porque ya lo compró, ¿verdad? Y, lo, y usted pagó antes de que ellos llegaran, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Y de un solo se las quitaron del banco, ¿ok? De su cuenta de banco. Ok, now, the other is, you used to stop off, now you use the diagnostic machine. Communicating. Communicating. Okay, let's do communicating. After lunch, you go down the hall, you uh, you go to office, here you have everything you need to work. So, no tiene nunca más que ir o moverse a su trabajo. Entonces sería él, ahí lo dice, ahí mismo lo dice, ¿verdad? Working. 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 Ajá, working. The other one is your information screen says that you have received a message from a coworker in Brazil. You set up Brazil, Brazil. You set up a computer to, to translate. Esta sería communicating. communicating. Uh -huh. Esta sería communicating. communicating. Y la última, you finish working and go back to the living room and turn on Relaxing. the television and look through. Relaxing. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. Entonces... La de communicating, you daydreaming, ¿dónde pusimos communicating otra vez? Eating. Oh. eating. La eating nos faltó, entonces era esta, ¿verdad? Esta, ajá, aquí. Ok, nice guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now... Thank you for reading, guys. Si se fijan, sí tenemos bastante deficiencia cuando leemos. No respetamos signos de puntuación, ¿ok? No le damos entonación. Las palabras o los verbos los pronunciamos mal. Por eso ya vi que tenemos que practicar más los verbos. Cómo, cómo hablar los verbos en pasado. Porque aquí sí dimos vi algunos, ¿verdad? Used to, no used uh ordered no ordered all right 
eh, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Hay varias, varias palabritas que cuando uno lee se da cuenta de que, ah, necesito practicar un poquito más. ¿Ok? So, y acuérdense que de lo que nosotros nos equivocamos es de donde aprendemos más. ¿Ok? No, todos cuando vean future, también vea future, future, future. ¿Ok? So, let's continue. Ahora sí vamos con el adverbial close. No, no íbamos aquí. The wedding day. Aquí estábamos viendo wedding day. Ok. Um, es súper cortito. Lo vamos a escuchar una vez más y le voy a hacer un par de preguntitas. So, pay attention. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only... Hi. Listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan, so we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Where is it? No, no encuentro ese, ese, ese diálogo, guys. Which one? Ese. This one. Es que aquí no se ve. We don't see it very... We don't see it fine here. No sé si está en, en el... En el libro de texto. No lo encuentro. The... Eh, I do it here because... Uh, you, we don't see it. Si se fijan, no se ve nada. Yo quería que leyeran el paragraph. Porque de ahí es que vamos a hacer un par de preguntitas. ¿Ok? Pero no, I don't find it. Eso ya lo vimos ayer. The, the... Brazilian is a little bird. It's a carnival. No. Vaya, pues no está. So, according to what you heard, de acuerdo a lo que escuchamos en el video, vamos a ver si puedo alcanzar a leer algo. What are they talking about? Teacher in the platform about a wedding in Japan. Yeah. Wedding customs. Mm -hmm. Wedding customs. I'm sorry, what did you say in the platform? I think Francisco, teacher, you said something. Teacher, use a uh, control plus scroll mouse. Yeah, I know, pero es que no se yo ve, es que no se ve bien. Ve. O sea, ahí lo que sube es la página. What it's um Zoom in is just the page, but not the video. And if I open it like this, it's not 
uh, I don't know si ustedes lo ven bien, pero yo lo veo todo borroso. I see it blurry. Yes, I can see it in the same way. Right, it's it's not it's like shaded. I know. So they're talking about a wedding. All right. Let me see. I have the I have some questions here. Maybe you paid attention and you tell me the answers. Siempre que busco las preguntas se me las perdí. I thought I lost them. So they're talking about a wedding, right? That the wedding was in Japan. What's the tradition in Japan according to this audio? Celebrate with family and close friends. Okay. What are and what are the traditions there? Uh, Where the do guests. they celebrate the, the, the party or these weddings? They have big dinner. Okay. Shrine. I, shrine, I, I uh -huh. can't listen the the right place. Could you repeat? It's a, a shrine. A shrine. That's, what is the? I, uh, I think that is um, a kind of place in Japan. I yeah. Think so. mm -hmm. Yeah. It's shrine. like um uh, a shrine is como about this word. Uh let's look for it. Se me olvidó. A uh, uh, shrine. See, it's like um, I forgot the word, guys. Um, ahí está un santuario, okay? Uh -huh. uh, it's a it's a place like a sacred place, como dice acá, un lugar santo, okay? So a shrine is a sanctuary, a sanctuary, okay? Eso es un shrine. Mm. Así se escribe, si se fijan acá. Yo sé que ustedes lo van a poder ver en el video. Si se puede ver un poquito mejor, si no me equivoco. Por eso estaba buscando acá si había otra forma de leerlo. Pero no me apareció. It doesn't appear. So, a shrine is a sanctuary. And it's a sacred place. So, the traditions in Japan are that they have a short, like a short or a, a small ceremony with just close people, close friends. Okay. And what do they do in the in the ceremony? Or after the ceremony? The guests bring money. Uh -huh. Guests bring money. The guest, but pay attention. The guest, no, al revés. Vamos a ver. The guest give. Hi, listen to the following pay conversation attention. and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So. What are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan, 
So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay. Yeah, you say you you are right. The guests give money, right? After the ceremony, the guests give money to the couple or to the bride, all right? Um uh, but also after the ceremony, what else do they do? Besides giving money, aparte de darles dinero. ¿Qué no. más dan? Some presents? No. Actually, no. They don't give presents. Oh. They, according to this the tradition, they give money, no present. Who receives present? Or who gives presents? The, the bride. Exactly, right? The, the bride gives Presents. Ellos les regalan algo a los a los a los que llegan to a la fiesta. Mm -hmm. To the guest, yeah. All right. So the guest gives speeches. Sí, como que le dan un un como qué es un speech, guys. Um, discurso. Yeah. Okay. It's a, a, a this. It that's a speech. And also, ¿y qué más hacen? They, they give speeches. They dance, pero ahí dice they, they sing songs. También les cantan, ¿verdad? Ahí dice que les cantan. And so the bride um, give presents to the guest, right? And the guest give give money to the to the to the couple. What did they give to the to the um, to the guest? ¿Qué les dieron? What did I give to the guests? ¿Qué le dieron a los asistentes, invitados? No entendí, pero era como algo dulce. Sugar. Sweet. Uh -huh. Sugar no entendí muy symbol. bien. It's a symbol of happiness. Yeah, they said that they, say they gave um, a ceramic box filled, así lleno de sweet. Como azúcar, no azúcar necesariamente, sino que candies. Los candies o sweets, a eso se refiere. Les dan, ¿por qué? Porque, porque el azúcar, obviamente los dulces llevan azúcar. What is, why? Symbol of happiness. Yeah, exactly, Nazario. Eso, por eso es que le dieron a eso. All right, that's it. And now, hoy sí quiero que le pongamos. What happened in their country? Ah, they get drunk. Tell me your, tell me about your wedding t-shirt. I have, your wedding? I have never. Do gotten, you have a good experience? No, I have not gotten married. <laughs> ah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but I have seen some, uh, some weddings where they dance, they drink um, alcohol. Many people get really drunk in, uh, in weddings. So guests get drunk. Yeah. Exactly. It's normal in our country. And they have the pie, they have a cake all the time, right? In our country, it's not sugar, the symbol of happiness. So I what is... That is, is the, the symbol of happiness in our country is alcohol and beers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Most, I, know. I don't know. But it seems that, like that, right? There are so yeah. many drunks here. Every single weekend, if you go to a restaurant, many yeah. people are drinking. They are From Francisco. Friday to Thursday. Yeah. By Francisco in Mexico. Ajá. <laughs> no. Eh, eh, mire, no tenemos dinero, así decimos. Que there's no money, pero hay un montón de gente en los bars que a saber cómo hacen, pero se gastan la quincena, como dice el dinero maldito de Alberto Más Ferrer, ¿verdad? That's right. I'm sorry, Francisco. For promotion, the people drinking. Ah, okay. They get promoted all the time. It's a todos yeah, los martes, yeah. martes, amigos de aleros. Uh, miércoles, amigos, like this night, jueves, jueves de chero. Every day. Is Francisco, no the schedule. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's right. One, a clap to you, sir. <laughs> well, anyways, yo creo que sí, vea, vamos a ponernos felices, dicen, con un parcito. Ok, so, anyways, guys, eh, no sé, la verdad, qué se hace aquí como tradición, solo, like, 
they they oh I believe that they throw rice no sé si en todas las 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 tradiciones pero sí he visto que les tiran arroz like they throw rice to the couples yeah it is one of the common mm. tradition in our country the common tradition in another ones maybe and then the the bride throws the bouquet right and the person who catches the next person the next girl who catches is gonna get married supposedly next. So those are the only traditions I know. I have never get uh, gotten married. So, but that's something that I have seen in some in some ceremonies. I actually no don't words. go to much. I don't go to much to um, Catholic uh, celebrations. I just go to the parties. Yeah. That's right. I don't like the church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Un poquito aburrida, verdad. <laughs> well, I have to bring a bag for for rice. Oh, really? I have to bring a bag for rice. In this case, wedding. Mm. Okay. De lo del, del arroz está diciendo. You're talking about rice? Yes. Okay. Well, guys, uh, the class is kind of interesting. Time we has gone. To we time has gone and we have to rest. So uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. No se van a poner muy borrachos. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't I like know, it. I know. I'm just kidding. Good evening, guys. Take no care. Way. Buenas noches. Good evening. Take care a lot. Bye, I have a good, good tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Don't forget Fridays. We have class.